Myrica pensylvanica, northern bayberry. This is a shrub reaching six to eight feet high, usually with a rounded form. The foliage is deciduous. In the northern U.S., it's almost always deciduous, although this can be somewhat evergreen in the south. Leaves are oppositely arranged on the stem. The leaf shape is obovate to oblong, one and a half to four inches long, and a half inch to one and a half inches wide. The foliage has somewhat of a leathery texture and is lustrous dark green in the summer and maybe somewhat pubescent above. The leaves and stems are aromatic when crushed and smell like bay. There's no real fall color. Ornamental features of Myrica pensylvanica include the red-brown bark that ages to gray. These plants tend to be dioecious, meaning that separate male and female plants are required for good flower and fruit development. Flowers are not particularly showy. The fruit are a grayish white droop with a waxy coating. These fruits will cover the stems of female plants and are effective throughout the winter, September to April. Cultural information for Myrica pensylvanica. These are hardy zones three to six and do best in full sun, but will tolerate part shade. They prefer pHs that are acidic to alkaline, pH five to eight. These are native in the Eastern USA and Canada, the Carolinas to Maine and west to Ohio. Notes about Myrica pensylvanica. These are an excellent plant for massings or a border and combine well with broadleaf evergreens to create a nice visual aesthetic. They can tolerate poor soils and salt sprays and have possible use in highway applications where the salt tolerance would be appreciated. The hardiness on these are somewhat variable. In the literature, these may be hardy from zones two to three, but it's also been noted to be damaged in the Midwest at temperatures minus 20 to minus 25. It should be noted that winter winds in the Midwest may be more drying than experienced elsewhere in their native range in the Eastern USA. Caution should be taken in hardiness zone two.